Sequel Podcast. I'm Matt Bonta. Maria Evans. Connor Stipe. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Maria, it's been a while. I think you've only done one. I think so. Forever go with Iris, yeah. Connor, this is your first one. This is my first one. Whoop, whoop. Cherry popping. In the hood. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are over for beer and pizza. Oh, yeah. After we caught some mulches. And After we got mulches. Matt did not. I did not catch a Moltres. You will. We'll get you one. Eventually. Maybe Thursday. I want to get you that flaming chicken. The <laughs> flaming flaming so chicken. Spicy chicken. All right. What was it called? Spicy chicken? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's what it is. <laughs> All right. So what's going on, guys? Oh, you know. Just uh, living life. Living the dream. Living the dream. Living the dream. What days do you work? Okay. Sunday through Wednesday. Our, our year is Saturday. You guys have been together for a year on Saturday? Yeah. High five. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, kill the sound on this. All right. So. so did you really like videotape while driving? No. I have a Polaroid Cube, which is kind of like their version of a GoPro. Ah. It's got a magnet on it. Put, let's put it on top of the car. Oh, okay. I was I was curious watching this the first time. I was like, how do you do that? You know? He's a boss. Well, I mean, we could set up a rig. Like, uh... <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, it's very clear. Like, it wouldn't be, like, with a phone, you know? No, <laughs> you think I made this movie with my cell phone? No, I mean, like, this part. Hey, there was my name. Oh, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> like, this the this scene coming up right here where uh, it's me driving in the profile view. We set up a rig in Corey's car on his passenger seat. That was pretty sweet. And he just drove up alongside me. It was real nice. That was with the actual camera. This was with my my action cam. Mm-hmm. Action cam. Action cam. Ta-da! Um... Because I attempted to strap the camera to the hood of a car. Did not go well. <laughs> I didn't think it would. I almost lost footage. It was <laughs> really? like the last few days of footage. Like all the stuff she was in almost, almost lost all of it. <laughs> yeah, like this. We rigged it up in his car seat. It was pretty sweet. So whose car is that you're driving? That was mine. I sold it to Luis. Oh, okay. So no longer. With the check engine lights though. Yes. It's horrible. <laughs> just disconnect the battery <laughs> oh yeah that would totally work it goes on and off it doesn't stay on all the time my uh-huh. roommate's parking brake is on and it freaked me out because I didn't know this well when you put your parking brake on there's a, a light that says check engine when you have it off in their car no it says on. it says brake so the brake light is still on no matter what oh, oh when the brake is off yeah. it's always on it's always on that's fucked yeah well my airbag no. light is on constantly oh my gosh I mean that's just that's Lights just wired, you know. <laughs> Electronics and shit. How'd you get the car to smoke? It's not smoking. It's not smoking. I no. thought it did smoke. He's colorblind. Power of suggestion. I'm pretty sure it's not smoking. It had just been sitting there. We didn't even have the car on when we went to go film this. Really? Like we filmed this other stuff later, and then we filmed this the truck stuff. You should have had like a little fog machine in there. You know what? Uh, when we were trying to make a different movie, we tried to do that. But we had no plug, and the, the plug outlet adapter that we had for the car just wasn't putting out enough power to get it started. Well, you could always buy like one of those like jump starter battery packs, you know, mm-hmm. and hook the, the line into the car where the jump starter pack is. Into the, um, the cigarette lighter? No, like it's a, it's a full on like battery pack, mm-hmm. right? If you have it in the car and you run the line, so the camera can't see it? So right, well, the battery, so a separate battery. So it's like, it's like a jump starter. <laughs> okay. You know, like you can actually buy this at Walmart because I used to work there. And I, I know that. Clearly you've had a million jobs. <laughs> I mean, not as much as my old uh, co-worker, but you know. Um, you can buy one and you can actually hook it up to it when it's fully charged and it will actually run like a normal battery and you know. So like you, hook, socket. you hook it up to the car battery. You hook up this external. You don't even need to hook it up to the battery. It's like, it's, it's its own oh, thing. Oh, okay, okay. It's a jump starter. Okay. Originally. 
But you can hook it up with a, um, you know. I think they have one of those at my work in case you fucking end up without. Yeah. Your battery dead. They come out and hook it up, and you just have that, and you just hook it up to anything. You can. I mean, yeah. But I have to take the. Uh, Whose snake was that? We actually found that snake by Corey's house. These kids, his neighbor kids, found it, and Corey just took it. And we were coming out here, and he was just gonna release it at the same time. I'm like, fucking film that shit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, like, would I have to like unhook, like unhook the fog machine in order to hook this thing up to it? You can hook it up right into you the, the fog machine right up to it because with the cord, you can hook it up right up to it. It's like a it's wall socket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what this? Yeah, <laughs> I love her face right there. <laughs> like, oh my god, what are you doing to me? Well, I'll look into that for the next one. We can even go scouting, okay? We can scout for these things. Well, look, see, you said that you wanted to do, like, fight choreography. Yeah. And so, and I was telling her, like, I want to go on this, because we went hiking in this place. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And I wrote it into the movie, and I just wrote, like, fight scene. (laughs) So, like, I want all of us involved to go out there and scout that location and kind of start brainstorming ideas. I need I need a little time to like get people used to like actually being okay with like rolling and everything else. Right. Well, we can scout the location so that you know you and everyone else can get a good idea of what we'll be working with and how mm-hmm. much space we have, everything else like that, and then we'll work on the fight choreography wherever else. Yeah. In order to move it to this location that we've already checked out. I mean, I've got you know five years of wrestling experience. I've got s- seven or eight years of karate experience on my first degree back black belt you know and i've got a few years of mma okay you know i actually you know my mother you know direct like produced and directed a lot of plays mm-hmm. so i was in a lot of those plays that she did mm-hmm. so you know i know a lot of a lot of the aspect of what what i'm doing sure sure you know? absolutely well i mean more the better express i was damn straight <laughs> Express. that's like the best thing in the world what's that the train in carson you ever heard about that like during like christmas time where they do this train Carson for the VNT Railroad. They dress it up, you know, with all these, like, Christmas lights and everything. Okay. They take it, you know, to this remote spot in the desert. And it's seriously like the Polar Express. You know, we give them hot chocolate. Or, you know, we have... Oh, you work there? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I, I used to work there. Oh. My mom's not doing it. Performed. Anything. Oh, you performed there as a child? No, as a Last adult. week? They, they <laughs> dance and they read books like, and stuff. I did it, like, the last time I did it was, like, two years ago. I really enjoyed it because I, I like to see, you know, the kids having fun, you know, the parents having fun because, you know, the kids are enjoying it, you know. Sure. It, it's, it's kind of a life experience to see, like, someone else's kid, like, actually enjoying what they're seeing, you know. Well, absolutely. Like, it makes me really happy. Like, I know they're not my kids, you know, or whatever, but, like, it made well, me so great. happy. How virtuous of you. <laughs> it made me, like, like, the greatest person in the world whenever these kids were like, I want to see him again, and it's like... I'm right here. <laughs> you know? Likes to entertain. <laughs> it was great. You know, you, you interact with the kids, ask them what, you know, they want from Santa, and you know, what they want for Christmas, and it's, it's awesome. Sure. And how, like, great, like, the smile. The smile's like the greatest thing in the world. When they have a smile on their face, it's awesome. <laughs> when they're supposed to be scared. Like. You're so you're very enthusiastic about this. It's <laughs> it was not very many people like you come on this show. There's a lot of cynical motherfuckers <laughs> here. I don't know. Cynical. It was with it me was, at the top of that fucking list. <laughs> it's probably one of the best things I ever I've ever performed in because I actually got to interact with people on on the train, you know, and not just be like, oh hey, you know, I'm performing like right in front so of you. So they now. drive this train out to the desert, you say? So they drive it to like this remote, like kind of open location. And Where they, at? They actually in Carson. In Carson, like halfway between Carson and Virginia City. Okay. Right. <laughs> not well, maybe not halfway, but it's it's this little patch. Well, you've got to go two separate ways to get to Carson and Virginia City. It's not like you go on one road to get to the other one. Well, I know, but you know, it's it's it's, it's on a track and they follow the track. Bad with directions, it's okay. I am bad with directions. They follow the track and then they go back. Mm-hmm. Right, so they, when they we so they just go to a place where a bunch of people can come out and park and go check it out. They actually they're actually not allowed to, to go out, but we dress this this part up with like you know houses, right? And it actually makes it look like so an old. We have a miniature golf course. 
Honestly, kind of, <laughs> to be honest. Like, we got Santa's sleigh out there, like Santa's there, and Mrs. A Claus. A real Santa? Well, not real Santa. I mean, there's well, no real like Santa. Like a person. Yeah, whoa, no, whoa. No, like, like, for real, like, Santa... Don't kill everybody. Spoiler story. alert. <laughs> Santa Claus will actually come on the train. Yeah, like, you've got a person dressed yeah. like a Santa. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's awesome. Honestly, like... My mom's not doing this year, so it's pretty much going to be shit because she she directed everything and like the first year we we did it, we were in the top five of like the United States, you know, to actually do it. Sure. And like every year since then, we did it for like five who, years. Who judges these things? Warner Brothers. Oh really? Actual, there's an actual Warner Brothers representative that comes to the train because of the movie, right? I mean, it's because of the movie. So they call it the Polar Express. Mm-hmm. So it's, like, officially licensed. It's yeah. not just like, oh, hey, we have a train. Let's do something <laughs> fun for the Yeah, no, it's, it's <laughs> actually... <laughs> let's rip off fucking... Yeah, no, it's actually through Warner Brothers. Okay. Because they come out and judge it and see how we did. Okay. And, like, we are in the top five, like, for five years straight. And, you know, this some stuff happened. So my, and they, Oreo. Come here, Oreo. Come on. Is? What's that? Is that what that sound is? Yes. Is Hi, Oreo. Oh, you're Take so his cool. collar off of him. Take his collar off? Yes. Yeah, it's damn annoying. You understand this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's Robert real quick. Um, he's playing Fiasco in this movie, and the next movie that I just wrote is called Fiasco. So Is it an origin story? It's not an origin story. It's the next story, but he's going to take precedence. And if you would have seen God Salt, you would have seen Fiasco also in that movie. Well, Robert totally thought that Connor was in the movie. He thought I he know, was. he thought yeah, Connor I know. was I was, fucking I was so confused. I was like, I was not in the movie like at all, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, he was probably drunk, because... If, if you alcoholic. have a dog scene, we could totally bring one of our dogs. Either the Husky or the Pitbull. There is a dog scene. There is a dog scene? But it's more of long lines of like an Oreo. Oh, it's a little dog. It's a little dog. A little dog. So, so it's like... A, it's like we shall kill James Bond. Uh, I love how your character is like so like adorable with your. You Say that again. Stuff. With the kid, your character. Um, like, wait, can I ask this? Rose's granddaughter. Yeah. Can we ask why he did this every time? It's, was, because it's, it's ironic at the end when the dude takes his fucking skull spoon, and, and like she dumps the fucking shit on his head to set him on fire. She doesn't, and he takes the soul skull spoon. It's like, motherfucker, you do this every fucking time. Now I'm going to take this and rip your fucking eyeball out with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's, it's more like we're watching him do this, and then it gets turned around on him and used as a weapon against him at the end. Gotcha, because he was using Spoilers. it the whole time. Yeah, every right. time he's like, hold up, let me fucking get my drink, and then we can talk. Gotcha. And he kind of holds up proceedings every time, and then Homeboy just takes his fucking skull spoon and she fucking dumps the shit on his head. Yeah. If you're watching this commentary, which, by the way, it is a commentary for the people who will not be seeing this live. Damn straight it is. Um, so, yeah, that's why. Okay. Um, and you were saying about Melody. Yeah. It was Rose's granddaughter. Yeah. Well, I, when he was talking about like Polar Express and like the kids, I was like, I love kids. <laughs> I'm like, my minor was HGFS, which is Human Development Family Studies. And I love how your character was so caring about this little girl. My like, character? Yeah. Yeah, have I, you, have you actually, still, like, like, full-on cared about her? You didn't even know her, but you cared about her so much. Yeah. And, like, you're, like, this, like, I don't know, character that's just, like, don't give a fuck. But you care about this little girl. Sure, sure. <laughs> so I was like, oh. <laughs> so whose shop did you actually use for this? Um, it's a shop called Elson's Transmissions. It's off of Rock and Rock. <laughs> it's off of Rock Boulevard and Sparks, right across from like Baldini's. I, think I know where that is. Yeah. Um, Corey worked here. Okay. Um, and it's like one of his buddies' dad's shop. Okay. Um, so we just went in after hours and filmed. Okay. Soda machine. What? Soda machine. That's what you. That's what you wanted. <laughs> there out. was beer in that soda machine. Was there? And it was free. Like it was a free machine for people to come in. Oh okay. Get their car worked on. I'm gonna go there because it's free beer. <laughs> no, I'm just. But it doesn't. It's like um, I think like the one of it was so like you know had like Coke, Dr Pepper, Sprite, something like that. Um, and I forget which one was beer. One of them had beer in it, but it wasn't like marked beer. It was marked something else, but yeah, it I think it was like the root beer or something. Yeah. 
ironically. <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was Dosa Keys. Babe, you've never been there, so you did you ever like see anything like odd about like going into this, this room? This transition like, in the... from the shop? No, it's not that garage. It's not here. But it's... can you tell? Like I, like, you would I assume know it's that it was from the I garage mean... to another garage at the same area. Honestly, I... But he went through a time dimension space. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell it was it was someone's garage. I, you know, it was a good transition. I mean, though. you know what, you're right. There's, like, shit in it. Like, fucking... No, like, shit I mean, there's right fucking, you know, like, babies in the fucking background. But, no, know? I mean, yeah, if you didn't know, like, I mean, because I've been in both of these Maybe we should have put, like, some fucking centerfolds up there instead. You should have put, like, some, like, demonic shit up there. Sure. Honestly, just because, like, the you fact know, well, of, what like, sucks there... Is, well, I um, mean, and then you... Tra- torture somebody in that room later I mean. and there's prostitutes in there later too yes I mean come on well like, it sucks because um, this biker emblem that we use and this biker patch they recently came out with a flag would have been nice to have had that back then we could have fucking strung up the flag mm-hmm. next one we're using the same biker gang in the next one kind of this is Corey's garage. Yeah, this is Corey's garage where Corey lives. <laughs> There's you. <laughs> that's me, guys. <laughs> Derek, Everyone watching this, you know, that's me right there. You don't the even the fucking axe like murderer. Anything like Derek. Apparently, I You're do. taller. <laughs> you, Derek's not big enough. <laughs> I'm taller. The I have say. hair. <laughs> Robert was I look way there. better in a suit. <laughs> So you stabbed that hay. That's not... Well, I mean... It's a transition. He's telling the I know. story. And I know. There's she's so thing. adorable. She's so cute. So, any questions about the movie, what we're going on? We haven't reached Maria yet. Okay. So, <laughs> honestly, like, I know you aren't in the middle of, like, but fuck nowhere doing this. Whose garage are you in? It's Corey's garage. It's still Corey's garage. It's still Corey's garage. The, this one, though, that's the shack. This is the shack. But it's outside in their backyard. Cause then you no, no, no. Later, we, built, right? we put this in Corey's garage. Oh, you put it in Corey's so, garage. So, like... I thought you put it out in the filming, backyard. So, when we're filming, we tried to. The wind knocked it out. Oh, there. okay. I remember that. Um, so, when we're filming my torture scene, we're only are filming in one direction. From, you know, from, like, left to right. Because if you were to turn the camera around, you would see the shack. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, this way we were able to control the lighting, so we just went on in a couple of Saturdays and filmed it. So we filmed the day stuff, we filmed the night stuff, all during the day. Just shut up the garage, put lighting up. It was just much easier to control it. And we were freaking out because it was like the day before, and it's like, what the fuck are we going to do? But, um, at the end, when they're shooting up the shack, they had to move it. we moved it out into the desert to shoot it up. Gotcha. And that was fun. Or when we're shooting the exteriors of the shack. It was it was all, it was that night, and then we left and came back in the morning and shot it up. Mm-hmm. That was fun. <laughs> were you part of that or no? No, I was part of that. I mean, <laughs> I'm the director, so I'm in every single, I was there every day. Yeah. So people who weren't there every day, I was there every day. But when we were out there at night, it was like, at the beginning of the summer last year so there were kids coming in like there was like a pit party somewhere way out in the oh back, yeah and they were shooting fucking at rabbits i told this at the premiere but they they were shooting at rabbits and shit they've come out to meet like other cars so that they can take them back to wherever it was and like me Derek, Corey, and my brother we fucking like got down on the ground while yeah the i remember, I remember you, you talking about that and I was just like, wow, <laughs> like that kind of like it was, sucks. Because it was, it was pitch black out there. Yeah. There were no like street lamps or anything like that. Um, and all we had were a couple of like car work lights. Like right here, this scene right there. So not that, but when we're outside. I love how the world right just says porno. Like, well, yeah, like, I was, I was going to ask well, why. What it says is hashtag not a porno because every time we ask some, somebody new, like, hey, we're making a movie, you know, you want to come help out and be in it. And they're saying, everyone's like, is it a porno? Is it a porno? <laughs> so Corey came up with his production company, hashtag not a porno. I was going to ask you, like, what made you think of like, all of the stuff to, like, put on the walls? So you just kind of, like, well, drunk one night and right? just kind of did it? 
it's just as we were putting it up in his garage, we were just kind of decorating it because we can't just have plain walls. So it's just like... I mean, yeah, that'd be boring. Yeah. There's like a pentagram right there uh, that says Herzog. Herzog was kind of like the director, the filmmaker that we were kind of um, following at the time. Like, we were like going off of his imitating. philosophy of making... Not imitating, because this movie's nothing like Herzog, really. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it is, but like... You know, we we're going off his philosophy of how he makes movies and shit like that. He was kind of our biggest inspiration at the moment. Mm. So we wrote Herzog on there. Um, I think we wrote God Salt somewhere in there on the other side. Just like different weird shit that we kind of thought of on the moment. You know, to be honest, like when you shot your your two bullets out of the, the shack just now, it totally reminded me of like Halo, you know, when you have the pistol and you're shooting, you know, your pistol shots <laughs> and it kind of just like flashes. flashes. That is totally what remind me of that. And I'm like, my childhood right there <laughs> <laughs> I connected on like an emotional level like there's an eyeball up there that says weed like weed was here I think he wrote um, there's like a the crimson funny, school not school even there yet. <laughs> right but this is like the, uh, the biker sh uh, the biker shack where they maybe go and fucking make crank you know or, or fuck fuck should have had, had like some test tubes or something should have test tubes but oh. a lot that, of this shit like was like breaking bad stuff you know Oh, I don't want that. I mean, there could have like been more set dressing, absolutely. Okay, but we what's with the apples? Like, yeah, who why the hell do you... Who like, carries around a backpack full of apples? Like, if you're in the middle of the Nevada desert, like, what the fuck, Matt? I mean, my mom does. But, he likes yeah. apples. Maybe he But, like, nothing a, but apples? Maybe he was driving, he stopped to get gas, goes in, apples are on sale. You know what? Apple Where's your good. vitamin C? What about the oranges? And the fiber. Huh? <laughs> the fiber. Or your potassium. What about the bananas? <laughs> so he grabs a bag of apples, stuffs it in his backpack, and he continues on his way. Where's the bag? <laughs> no, it's, the, bag in, it's bag. in the backpack. And um, so that's Derek right there. <laughs> <laughs> Double duty. And then. Double duty. <laughs> Call of duty. This guy who I shoot and kill right here. Is that you? That's me. The extra. You shoot yourself. Yeah, uh, I shoot myself and kill myself multiple times. That that's me right there. <laughs> it's like, go ahead, do it. Boom, and I kill oh. myself. Down. So, and I just killed. And, I, and when they come back up, I kill myself again. When I come <laughs> running. So I mean, like. I hit everybody up, like, hey, we're filming, can we get you? Thank God there were masks in this movie, because we can double up on parts. I, I asked people to, but my friends are not cool enough. I mean, I could ask Andrew, but he's probably drunk most of the time. <laughs> I know, mean, honestly, God, he goes out drinking like every night. Are, I mean, it might not be. <laughs> we still That's have right, to see you, Maria. Andrew, if you're listening. You drink a lot. <laughs> A lot. You still have yet to see me what? In the movie. Oh, yeah. Try so I've not shown up. We are... How far into the movie are we? <laughs> 20 minutes in. Still no Varia. Still no Dick Sponge. Still no Dick Sponge. Thanks, guys. I love you. That, that line almost got cut out of the movie. That's really? so depressing. That's like the best line. <laughs> Just I, because I, I, would, I love I you. Wouldn't have, I wouldn't have cut it out of the movie. But my editor went and cut it out of the movie. I had to go back and put everything that he took out. Greg? Yeah. Why? He, he chopped it out. He chopped out like 15, 10, 15 minutes of the movie and go put it back in. Like just all Damn me? It, like, Greg. Oh, I don't want to see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. Dick Sponge is the best uh, line. I'm glad you like it because Pardon I thought it French. was I thought it was funny. Well, honest, because like, you know, like the way that bikers talk, honestly, that kind of like, it kind of fits. You know, like, oh, this guy's like super rich or whatever. He's got like all his money. Oh, he's got his trophy wax, you know, for... And he's got his dick sponge for a wife. I wouldn't... No, but see, he's not rich. And that's the whole point why he's fucking in Dutch with the, the bike... The, the club. Is because he started doing, like, little bitch chores for the club. Like, you know, he would do drug drops, money drops, pickups, and just, you know, whatever shit fucking job they needed him to do, he would go and do. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't have any... Like, he lost his job, he lost all of his money... And he lived, maybe maybe he did live a rich lifestyle until the fucking the money just dried up real quick. So he had to go fucking be a shit heel for these guys. I mean, he did have his trophy wife, you know. Well, he, like he, wanted to, he wanted to keep his trophy wife. And then, How old are you? Like 20? 
20. 21. You can say how old <laughs> you can say how old you are. I'm I'm 25. 25. Maybe 26 in September. Wes is not 50. So. No. Wes is like 47. Were almost. you in the, almost in the dark in this scene? I am. Like I mean. In front of the car, like I'm behind the camera but like, right there. All the lights are off. Is this like a setting? It's black and white. Mm. Because the green screen was not lit up mm-hmm. um, equally. So oh, it was okay. darker and then brighter in some spots. So it didn't work well. You know, honestly, I love how Corey's like he's drinking sleeping. in the back of this like car and he's just like, wake me up when we go there. <laughs> well, orig- like he grabs a beer at the end of this. And originally I forgot while we were filming it, but my brother was supposed to be like putting his butt out in the, in the beer. <laughs> and then Corey would just drink it with like whatever like he's half asleep so when he grabs a beer right here it's supposed to be the one that he was putting his ashes in oh, that's so gross <laughs> <laughs> coming but from I the mean, guy that just said he like ate his brother's mic and I got that he had started chewing because he wanted to gross him out viewers that's not true <laughs> you told me that I today I plead the fifth so you were eating so the mic and I no his brother started eating it and he ate his brother's half-eaten Mike and I. Like, how did he get it out of his mouth? I don't know. How did you get it out of his mouth? I, I grabbed it, it and I wanted it, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> did you have to force it out of his mouth? No, I asked him for a Mike and I. He goes, he starts chewing on it and goes, here. Oh, and so, I, and so I grabbed it and I ate it just to freak Kinda him like out. Kind of like a fuck you. Yeah. And he's like, I would have given one. I was like, bullshit. Is that your younger have. brother or older brother? I have older brothers. How old are you? I'm 21. Bullshit. Not bullshit. How old is he? He's 21. Really? Dead serious. <laughs> He's going to be 22 in September. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, you're super young. She's 13 days older than me. Well, no, she's well, like four years older than me. I mean, I mean like she, her birthday is 13 days after mine. <laughs> 13 days and four years. She's like, like 10 years older than you. I'm not 10 years older. <laughs> she's only like four I, or five. No, four. Four years. You sure about it? So when she was in, in kindergarten, I was turning one year old. Being that's, born. that's gross. Thanks, Love babe. you. Yeah. So like you could have babysat him. I mean, it's not like the huge age Okay, gap. before, my like lowest was a year. So like he... So you've dated house. younger guys like exclusively. No! <laughs> like, no. Okay, five years older is my max. Seven, I like feel like is like a really good like time period between... So a like, seven year younger guy than you, so like a no, sixteen no. year old. No, I go five years older max 18. and one year it's younger m- like max, but he slipped through the cracks. Wait, what's the seven? Seven, I when I was I don't know, whatever. A few when years you were ago. Seven? No, when I was thinking about like how many years older and younger that I'd like like and was okay with basically so you're okay like, with it i there was year. like multiple relationships that were like really good relationships that were seven had a seven year difference in their relationships that you've had but or people you've known or just like yeah like between you're like, okay people with I've known, talking about this well people i've known and i know past relationship stuff pizza. is kind of taboo with there's like, pizza here so i don't give a fuck <laughs> i can talk about anything but he doesn't always like me to like you don't like hearing about, about her previous liaisons not always, but I don't care. Her, pizza. I mean... I'm, he doesn't always like talking about she's it She's not like a... She wasn't a virgin before you guys got together. She wasn't? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know that! I mean, dick sponge, come on. <laughs> you can't wring all that water out of there. Okay, Matt. so seven... <laughs> Try my heart. It's still in the middle. Let's <laughs> look at it. No, but so my That's personal cool max of, is five years. Oh. But I feel like seven years would be a good, decent, so you, you, make for a decent relationship. So you're saying five, but seven's okay. I feel like seven could be, potentially be a good match for a lot of couples. Seven year difference when you're older, not when you're like under 18 <laughs> no. or whatever. But, you know, <laughs> like when you're older. I like older, this commentary about the movie that we're talking about. <laughs> she hasn't even showed up yet. But I mean, me and Corey did the real commentary. Yeah. This one we comment as it comes along. If you got questions, by all means, fucking ask. Hey, I asked about like a few things. Okay. I, I mean, was we're sitting down and we're podcasting and going with the flow. Going with the uh, flow. Why, what's with the bat? Okay, so. Wasn't it from the other movie? Yes. Didn't it? Um, but it, that what's was your face? that was a different bat. So, a character from oh. Godsall. Maybe you guys should go home and watch Godsall tonight. Maybe we I should. went to Iris. 
No, That's we have it, don't we? We have it. Did she give it back to me? Yeah, I, I swear to God, she did. Maybe I have to look through it. We just moved. I haven't put all my movies and stuff away. I think I need to, I need to burn some more copies. But uh, if you guys don't have it, I will just send you the link on YouTube. No, she did. She gave it back to me at the movie, at the play. She did. I, I swear okay. she okay, did. So you got it. We have, have it. it, yeah. So it's like a God salt night tonight. Damn it, we are going to watch God salt tonight. Let me ask you. No, I'm not gonna say anything. No what? No 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 no. You just watch the movie. Just watch the movie. What you do now? It's it's an awesome movie. Ah. She's not even really in the movie. Mm. I mean, she's not really in this movie either. She was like hanging out, watching her little sister, and it's like we don't have anybody. Get in there. <laughs> Get in there. Be a prostitute. This one. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was my sister. Oh jeez. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So when you see <laughs> when you see Robert getting blown by somebody in the bathroom, that's my sister. That's horrible. <laughs> I didn't. I well, I wasn't there that day. I let Patrick do all of that. I'm like Patrick, you tell her that she has to blow Robert, <laughs> and you direct that scene because I had <laughs> I to work. Do it. I, I had to work that day, and it was the only day that those people can get together. So I let Patrick take the duties. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm not I'm not done with the seven year thing over here. Oh wait, no, wait. We're talking about the bat. The bat. Okay, we're done with the seven year thing. Yeah. Moving on, the bat. Um, well, except that, that he noise? always brings it up that he's. I think it's That's the ice cream man. That's right. Oh yeah, right there. Go that way. Come here. So in God Salt, um, Detective Black, she has a bat. It says Ball Buster on it. Of course. And it would. Um, but the bat, the bat's not really a bat. What it is is probably like. A shovel handle or something like that but it's like it's something that's been in my family for like generations <laughs> generations that they would use as like they had it you know stuffed under a bed or in a corner somewhere in case some you know like basically like the gun to get, take care of intruders it, the bat was there in case so, there were some intruders my question is are those beads glued on or do they go all the way through the bat is it oh, no, hold on. I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, you are good. I'm getting there. Okay. So, so we call that bat the ball buster. Okay. Okay, and that was in that movie. And we gave it to that character. And prior to making Street Toughs, I wrote two other scripts that we tried to make, and it fucking didn't work. So, um... I was pregnant and died. <laughs> so fucking depressing. So that was the first... <laughs> We tried, that was the first movie we tried to make. I thought it that was the failed. second. No, that was the first one. Yeah. And then I, when I was in Japan, I wrote another movie. And um, I put the ball buster in these two movies, and we didn't make them. So it's, it came over to this. And what Corey did was with this one, so with this one, with the Japanese influence, these three movies had Japanese influence. We wrote ball buster in Japanese, like he carved it into the, this bat. Um, it's a different bat. It's not the same one. He's got the other one. I, we're thinking of maybe mounting it like my, my Game of Thrones swords. Yeah. Uh, they're mounted on plaques. Corey was thinking about doing that with the ball buster and kind of having different ball busters for each movie. Like a main prop? That's awesome. So, um, so this one, he just drilled holes all the way around and just put studs in. Or no, he, um, I think they were big bolts and he just cut the bolts off and glued those in there. So that's... Does that answer your question? I mean, in the Japanese tense, it's called a kanabo. I know, they've got the big long bat with the stud. It's, like, it's like a two by four that they sand it down the handle and it's they, they're threaded through to one side to another. That? Damn straight, because I like, I like fucking, what was it? What was Nerd. it called? Delius Warrior. <laughs> You ever watch that show? Uh, so it was. Oh, I watched that. Delius Warrior was like they would pair like a Viking, right? Like a against, Nazi war against, criminal. Against like a samurai. What is this, like a reality show? It's like A Thousand Ways to Die. It was on like Spike TV or something, but it pitted like histories, like history's, history's like best War- greatest warriors against yeah. each other. Yeah. So there's, I think it was the ninja and the viking against each other. Mm-hmm. And right? he had that big long bat with the studs on it. It's ever, it was a samurai. The samurai, no, it was a samurai and the, the viking. Right. Because the samurai used the kanabo against the Viking's shield totally like annihilated this fucking shield so that so like when they do it they're doing it legit or they're acting they're actually testing out like they have the weapons right, right? and then they're 
seeing how strong they are against each other's what uh, exactly like, like you know against the shield or they see how well like the, the samurai could shoot a bow kind of like what Mythbusters does like sure, it like sure. brings Bold back weapons. like facts yeah and like stats about the warriors and whatever like yeah. what the coolest thing ever it is pretty sounds cool, cool. yeah like, I kind of want to watch it right now like the, the samurai <laughs> versus the viking was like my favorite one just because I loved the Kanabo. I've researched the Kanabo. But those things are really long, right? They're actually not. They're only about this long. Like, I thought I've seen pictures that were really long. Like an average before. size like a baseball bat? Yeah, that's Kanabo. But it's it's a 2 by 4 pretty much. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's just like the coolest thing ever. Like a cricket I, bat. It's just actually yeah. really good. I really it is, like it is really good. Yeah. I've always wanted one. Like... I've tried to tell my mother and like buying one when I was younger. And she, Why don't you just buy one for yourself now? You're an adult. You got a job. I mean, I'm trying to when I save money. That's why I mean, I got all these swords that I bought because I'm an adult yeah. with money. But I guess you're only 21, so. I mean, I haven't got shot yet. I just started this new job today. And we got puppies. We got puppies. And then we moved. And, and then we got, got a Mustang. We got to buy another car. car. But you best believe, yes, I am going to buy a Canapo in the shoes. future because I love it. This scene right here, let's go back real quick. Okay, is Pablo supposed to be, like... It was written for a man. Okay. And he... It was actually her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And he flaked, because that's what he does. Mm-hmm. And she was supposed to play the other part, Nikki, Cheyenne's part. Mm-hmm. But I thought she was going to flake. Um, <laughs> but then she actually didn't. But... So I gave Cheyenne her part, and then when she was like, blah, blah, blah. So... That's actually not three different people that's actually only two different people between her her and her really so so, so when one of them is kicking her ass when pablo's so they there. just swapped clothes with the with the the bag over the head oh, here's the because problem. we didn't have a third chick so we're like okay we'll just split it between the three of you or the two of you so they played opposite parts. When yeah, so it's like, we're going to film you two here, and then you two here, quick switch clothes. Wait, I love this part because I love how there's Funyuns. <laughs> there's Funyuns with prostitutes. That's some of the best thing in the world. <laughs> They're Funyuns. gangster girls. I just don't get how... Okay, so he's supposed to be like the... Mm, Mercenary. Well, no, I mean like... He's a, Corey's, he's a detective. Corey's father's like best guy. No, 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 no. This is the... He's like the crooked cop. He's on the payroll. He's a detective that's on the payroll for the club. He's a cop. Oh. Is that what he is? Is he really a cop? Yeah, he's a cop. Yeah, Derek's part, I mean, it just... Like, he's in the other two movies. And if you, like, read those other two scripts, that character is fully kind of fledged, like, stretched out between these three movies. Because I wrote him in Night Moves. And we couldn't make it. So I wrote basically the same characters in another story with the actors I knew I could get into Crime America. And we couldn't make that. So it's like, okay, what few characters we can still use, I put in the Street Toughs. Gotcha. Okay. So I think Braxton, yeah, Braxton, you know, spoiler alert, Braxton dies in Night Moves. So essentially the other two movies are prequels (laughs) to... God, it would have been such a fucking amazing scene. His death scene in Street or Night Moves was amazing, and we never got to make it. You should tell uh, make like a like I a. I forgot all about that. Death like scene. a back yes. then movie, like with like medieval stuff. That'd be I mean, awesome. I don't have the budget for that kind of movie. One day when they pay me to make movies, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like Braxton's like character in this movie just was like all over the place, and I don't know like quite what would have helped it. Because, well, like, I mean, if well, Derek like, could all, act, it would definitely help that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to agree with that one. So he has very little lines uh, in this. Yeah. Because he can, And he has very little lines in the other ones, too, because he can't act. So I didn't give him Wait, a lot of Wait, there's Dick Sponge. Hey, there she is. <laughs> and Dakota. There's my and girl. Dakota. <laughs> if you haven't met Dakota. No, you met Dakota at the I premiere, met Dakota. Right? We saw him at the at, at, at all. Like a week ago. ago. Really? Week with his dogs? When, uh, with his baby? When the legendary started, no, he was with his work or whoever. They were doing like some legendary. Where he was working? <laughs> yes, that's no, it was, it was like a like firefighter's a like barbecue or something. Yeah, yeah. Know, yeah so did he have like his that. shirt off? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I enjoyed it. No, I'm sure. There you are, babe. Look at you. 
No, I told her to be as bitchy as possible. I know, she wasn't bitchy enough. Yeah, he said I wasn't bitchy enough, so he's like, well, be, be a bitch. She could only do you so You know, when much. you tell me that I didn't, like, well, like no, do the laundry, I, if I, I need to be that bitchy. If we I need remember, to be that like, she didn't say the lines bitchy enough, if I remember correctly, right? I, I, she you, came out kind of soft and regular how she is. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, what a sweetie! No. Yeah, he, has, he he's like he's like no, just be like like mad, like be like angry, like bitchy, and I'm just like I'm not a bitch. I'm, <laughs> how do I do this? And she's just like, what the fuck, the entire movie. Yeah. <laughs> and Dakota gets his ass beat, and then he gets killed later on. Spoiler alert. Just to say spoiler alert first. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so much hair. I totally should have put my hair up, but... No, babe, why? Why would you put your hair up? Uh, people don't put hair up in movies. Especially on motorcycles. Why would you put your hair up on a motorcycle? Look at it. It's all over. This is good. I like the acting in this scene. Um, Get your hands out of your pocket, babe. You too, Corey. I was supposed to be bored and, like, what the fuck? Like, I just got kidnapped because of this motorcycle. Um, cross your arms and pop the hip. Be a bitch, <laughs> Are babe. your hands in your pockets? Her hand was in her pocket. She like put that, her left no, that's hand. That's fine. Okay, no, her left hand was fully in her pocket. And this scene, her oh, left, we got some continuity errors. There's continuity. No, go back. I want it was to be not good. that bad. No, no, look, no, go no, back. Hand still in pocket. Go back. No, no, we're fine. I'm not gonna go back for that one. Okay, no, I'm dead but serious. But I'll take your word for it. It was not that bad. Babe, you need to cross your cross your arms. Be a bitch. And they're Corey's house. Right there. Yeah, that's Corey's house. The fuck. Now, what did you say there? You say. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> well, bye. I guess. Cause that's what I say to people. <laughs> like when, bye, Felicia. When they're walking away, it's just like bye. So well, she, you definitely look. You know, if you play a bitch in this next movie, you gotta be a bitch. Definitely I'm gonna fun. like teach you like the like. The fuck's but the I'm word? not a, well sassy. Attitude. I gotta so, teach you how to be a bitch. Teach you how to be a gangsta. Gangsta bitch. You're. <laughs> Your straight boyfriend's gonna teach you how to be a cunt. Okay, let's put it that way. C U N T. Bitch. Even the Australians don't use cunt as like bitchy. They just like we're in America. They use cunt as like bro. I know. Yeah. Like what up, cunt? What's up, cunt? <laughs> you gonna shot me or what? Cunt? We should bring it back. I wanna I'm bring bitching cunt. back, dude. This <laughs> movie's <laughs> bitching. <laughs> I used to be able to say that in my chemistry class in high school. Like, my teacher, like, let us say that. And I was like, dude, that's bitching. And he's like, okay, you, you gotta stop. Like, you say it way too much. I'm no, like, Why? people are bringing back the 90s. Bitching's not 90s. When <laughs> were you born? 94. How old is this kid? What's wrong with you? I, Cradle <laughs> robber. <laughs> I told Ugh. him before. Like, before we even started dating, I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, like, I'm like a million years I, older well, than you. Well, no, I was like, I don't, like... <laughs> date people that are younger than like I don't, you're okay, younger have, than have you ever seen you know like How I Met Your Mother yes okay you understand like Barney whenever someone says he can't do it that he needs to do it you best believe oh I don't date someone younger than than like a year or younger than me best believe I said challenge accepted challenge accepted and I fucking you know like want to date her so bad so wait so you guys have a minutes. year so that means he was 20 when you started dating for like and you were still 25. No, she was 24. <laughs> I, I was 24. No, I know. Yeah. We're keeping her perpetually at 20 and or 25, and you keep getting younger and younger. <laughs> you were like 16. So when I was 18 and she was 25, <laughs> a seven year gap. <laughs> That's okay. My wife is 14 years older than me. Yeah, see? I don't know. That means love. Seven is years, love. I feel like it's just like that sweet spot. But I don't think I could do somebody that's like, or be with somebody that's seven years difference. And I don't think I'd do I didn't someone think I, over, over I, seven yeah, but see, if, I don't think I could do like. But if we didn't know anything about numbers, I wouldn't have assumed he was 21. I don't know 21. I would have assumed he was like the same age. I mean, then again, like, you're fucking like seven years younger than me. Yeah. But like, I, when I'm hanging out with all my friends, I think of us as all like the kind of same age group. The only time it's really noticeable is when someone's like drastically younger. Yeah. So even like my old, like Wes and them, I kind of like we all talk and have the same kind of maturity level amongst all of us. So like numbers are just numbers, Maria. Well, yeah, Maria. Obviously, I've it's been with him just for a year. No labels. High five. Hitler. I, I, I told him, yeah. I told him that. 
told them that you're Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> no. I do that mustache on too. Nazi. <laughs> Damn Nazi straight she is. I made sure. Done changing the oil filter out. And you know, oh, go like I this. told yeah. them that I was Hitler. But you don't like... notice it, so you're walking around. You're like, it's over there. <laughs> over there. <laughs> the bathroom is right that way. Over there. <laughs> it's over in the hile over there. Over in the hile? <laughs> that hile. <laughs> that hile. <laughs> hile five. I feel really bad for saying this, but I said this at Walmart when I worked there. It's in that hile, and I pointed like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was Walmart. <laughs> it's in when, that when, hile. when customers were around, I said it to a customer. When I thought customers so were around. <laughs> Is that Derek's sister? Who's watching? Sister in law. Hmm. So that's his brother's wife. Hi, brother's wife, Kelly. She's not watching anymore. That was a long time ago. It needs to say one or two. It needs to have a number up there. Oh, okay. Um, We're just not entertaining. I don't know. I'm boring. We need to have, like, the the, the comedy music. Oh, you remember that night when we were playing Pokemon, like, the first month? That that guy that was really annoying that, like, nobody liked having around? And that one night where we were down, like, by the belief sign, and he's like, he's like, what? I can't be your friend. Oh, like, we do, oh, Caterpie Boy. Yeah. Team Green. Team? I fucking hated this. Okay, Green. no, but you know what's coming up? The anniversary the year, that yeah, you met that guy? Yeah, because, no, he's like, oh, I can't be your friend, and he's like, he's like, no, like, he's like, you can't be our friend. Oh, no, I told him straight just, up, I fucking hated this guy so he, much. He was so annoying, because he, he threw his phone because he didn't catch something, like a Caterpie or something. Like, and he was just, he was being obnoxious just to be obnoxious and be entertaining, but it was just really fucking annoying. And so, like, he came over to us, like, one night when we had, like, a group of, like, what, six or seven people? It was, so it was me, Varia, our friends Josh, Jay, Justin, and and Caitlin, and then Alex, right? So we had this group, like, it was seven. And he comes over, you know, hey, guys, and we all just kind of, like, sit there. uh, Sit there, like, oh, my God, what the fuck do you want? And he just kind of like a man child. Well, he come. He came from yeah. like fucking Carson City, every fucking day, and like the no one. No, that wasn't. He wasn't from Carson City. He's from Reno. No, yeah, he was from Carson. No, that was the other kid. That was the little so blonde white boy. Two other kids you had. No, like this was the big guy that threw his phone when he didn't catch something, and he was like Team Green, but it wasn't. He was wasn't from Carson. Okay, the, the smaller Team kid. Green. Mm-hmm. was the one who tar- started Team Green. Okay, well, he came from Carson, and that's the other one. But I'm talking about the tall guy that was really oh, annoying. Oh, the fat fuck. <laughs> oh, God, I hated this guy. Okay, yeah, you but you know what? these guys. Was on Friday is the night that we said that we would be there so he could try and be our friend. So Friday night, because I'm a decent person, we have to go downtown to see if he'll show up and if he remembers. Because I put it in my phone. Because he's like, he's like, oh, I want to be your friend. And I was like, Why? You put this in your phone a year well, ago. Well, actually, we were like, yeah. You we told were, him in a year. No, because we were like, why? And then he's like, oh, you can come back in a year. Like, he said that. Like, he's like, oh, you can try being our friend in a year I'm or sure something like that. I'm sure he's not going to remember. Well, no, but like, yeah. And he's like, okay. Have you, ever, like, have you ever seen him again? He put it in his phone. I don't, we didn't go downtown. We you were know, in downtown for like two months really straight. really creepy if he's down I'm there. I'm surprised just... I never saw you guys. We were there all the time. We were there We were there from like 10 or 11 because I didn't get off yeah, till 10. We were there late. Until because, like 4 yeah, or no. 5 in the morning. Yeah, no, we were down nights. there really fucking late last summer. I'm yeah. surprised I never saw you so, guys. So, like where the belief sign is, that's where you were? We did a whole, like, we had a circle that we, we walked. We sat on the lawn. <laughs> we, we sat down, like, I brought a blanket like every night and we sat oh, on the grass. Oh, his name is Quinn because it's in my thing because he put in his phone, he put in his calendar so oh, like, so it's in his phone. He put so it down first. you guys better hope that he broke his phone and got a new yeah, phone. Yeah, he put it in his phone first. probably been a couple new phones. And he's, <laughs> like, like, a, and he's like, oh, so a year from iPhone? now, like, on this night, like, a year from now, like, we can try and be friends again. And I was like, sure, okay, yeah, a year from now. And I put it in there, and that's his Friday. And so his name is Quinn, and I don't I, I don't know, but. Babe, I don't give a fuck about Quinn. I'm not Do going to remember down there. if he had an iPhone or not. I don't remember if he had an iPhone. I don't think so. I don't remember that. Well, because most people who have iPhones always get the new one when it comes out. There's been like two. Oh, I don't know. I don't believe it's an iPhone. I still have the same phone <laughs> that I, I got this From what I can year. remember, no. Yeah, so what that's, were we that's talking exciting. about other than Quinn, who you guys hate? Team Green. What's Team Green? Team Caterpie. Okay. That's what it was because, you know, it has, you know they have Mystic, you know, for Articuno. 
Yeah, Caterpie is not logical. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. He That's was what just we're being saying. obnoxious. He was being a fucking asshole and like yelling and like going around people like Team Green, huh? And like I like <laughs> I, I honestly no, like he's like, oh, what team are you? And I was like, instinct. And he's like, oh, we can't be friends. And I was like, okay. <laughs> not a big problem, you fucking asshole. <laughs> But I'm a decent person, and then the, and he's like, oh, well, can, you know, we can be friends later, and I was like, I was like, sure, later, and then somebody was like, oh, yeah, in a year, it was you who said it in a year, and then he's like, okay, in a year from now, I can try and be your so friend Friday. again. Friday. You know, babe, we'll probably what? be out Friday night, so I'll be able to see this guy. My, <laughs> he shows my, up. my question to you is, why the fuck did you put it in your phone? Because I, <laughs> you, because Why are you a decent who person? It? <laughs> be a bitch. Be like a bitch in this fucking movie. By I'm a not more. even a bitch in this movie. Like really. No, like, you are a bitch in this movie. No, but I mean, I could be so much bitchier. Well, if, I, if it wasn't me. Fuck yeah, you could be so much bitchier, but can I have some more pizza? Pizza. Um, any questions you guys have coming up while we were... Okay. How the entire fucking time does he not know that that is a real gun? Because His orange. little orange or green gun. It's orange. It's orange? What are you talking about green? Are you colorblind? Yeah. I've told he's, you this so many green. times. I said at the beginning of the, the commentary. When he was talking about the smoke, I was like, yeah, he's colorblind. Yeah. Talking about the what? The smoke on, from the, coming from the car. Oh, right? I didn't hear you. Yeah, no, I'm colorblind. That's so you serious. don't know what color that is? No. Don't you dare even ask me what color it is. How, how bad, like, my friend, so Derek's brother, he's colorblind, too. So. Yeah, like, so, no, okay, so that was Derek's brother and sister-in-law. When we were at that lot last Thursday. Which lot? Oh! Well, I was wondering why they look familiar. He looks similar to. You think Derek. so? He's yeah. taller. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. Everybody is. <laughs> I think that's why I just. I wasn't, like, convinced by Derek's part at all. Just because, like, I just. When I first read the script, like, he just. He seems like he needs to be so much more, like, menacing and, like, more. Right, he does. And the character's written that way. And I could have done that with him. In night moves, but with each successive movie, I had to write him more dialogue just because that's the way it needed to be. But it's, he's not even. You're right. He's he's not that great. I mean, look at Tom Cruise. Movie, but it was just, he's not very convincing. Why? It's kind of just what me. It's entire <laughs> Tom movie. Tom Cruise is like five foot nothing. Okay, and yeah. he's like Mr. Badass in all of his movies. So you had a question. Who plays all the masked people in this? All right. One was Derek. One was this Luis Garcia who was watching earlier. One was Eric Lundin who is his stepson now. One was me. I mean, we all know who that is. That's Cheyenne. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Nikki. With my gun now, she's got my awesome gun. How dare she? <laughs> and then Derek was eating my apples <laughs> when I was getting tortured, that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, good stuff. And then she flushes the toilet. So that's father and daughter right there in this scene. What so, was in there? Did you just put fake blood in there? Yeah, just my fake blood. It looked like there's something like darker in it, but like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, back then they used uh, chocolate syrup. Just well, saying, in like Psycho, the black, they black and chocolate white. syrup. But literally, you could use blood too. It's dark enough. I mean, you should start using some chocolate syrup. Oh, there's a cat on the bed. There is a cat. Oh on my the goodness, bed. there's a cat on the bed. There's cats everywhere. This That's is very the size. drinking game. One of these days, we'll do a drinking game to my movies. It's like every time you see a script in the scene. Every time, what the f- yada, 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 yada. <laughs> it got cold. Whoa. <laughs> she took my time. What is this? It's a dick sponge line right here. Where's dick sponge? It's right here. Oh, dick sponge. I get this. This poor sap's dick sponge. What's uh, it? Or dick sponge? What's the dick sponge? Oh, it's so his wife. Play. Fucking, she looked younger than the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> a I daughter mean, who you never see, so she could potentially be younger than the daughter. I'm going to mm-hmm. be honest. My brother's fiance is younger than I am. My oldest brother's fiance. <laughs> they just got engaged. Yeah. She's well, look, I mean, okay, so if she's like 19, 20 years old, so technically she is. No, 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 you're not younger than her. Okay, never mind. No. And then this thing is full of like eyes and fingers and ears. No one ever sees. It's just kind of set decoration, but it doesn't matter. Oh, There's my little dick sponge. <laughs> my little dick sponge, so small and short. And she's like, I don't know my lines. <laughs> what the oh, fuck yeah, am I looking dead. for? He's supposed to be. Like, he's like, oh, just look around like you're looking for something. Oh, and I'm shit, like, okay. Fucking killed him anyways. Yeah, no, that motherfucker. He's he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, yeah you're right. He's dead. <laughs> Thanks. 
No, he's dead. <laughs> You're really good in this. I, I don't know if I ever told you because I didn't get to watch it, but dude, you did good right there. So oh positive reinforcement. And Corey's good here too. I mean, if he were here, I would tell him, but he's not here. I love Corey. Corey, you were really good. Corey's at work. Somebody's watching. I know they are. It might be me, or it might be Luis Garcia again. Luis, if you're watching, say something. Say something, I'm giving up on you. (laughs) (laughs) Check us on the Twitter sphere. Um, Oh, they stopped watching. Oh, gosh. Um. This was not filmed on the same day, and this was filmed with a different camera. Just leaves me all alone again. Oh, well. Hey! With, with a dead body in the he house. He keeps leaving her for me. <laughs> so like his character might be homosexual. <laughs> and both me and Corey are wearing our wedding rings, so maybe we're married to each other in this movie. <laughs> it is, I mean, gay marriage is legal now. It is, and you know what? My character is asexual. Corey's character is clearly gay. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Corey knows this. I. She's probably a lesbian as well. I can so well, see her. This is a very think, pro. Yeah, Pablo yeah. seems like his. I could GPLT. It, it's or you, you know that Pablo's supposed to be a guy or supposed to be guy like, so you can't really tell if like it's supposed to be like. Or Pablo. Like very girl. just like. <laughs> non-binary or if they're like. Well, look, to be this she or that. is part of the crew. Like she's a prospect. She's got a prospect patch on. Mm-hmm. Um, Cheyenne, I can see. I can see Cheyenne being a lesbian. Cheyenne's got an old lady jacket on. This is in in the imaginary world in my universe. The old ladies wear jackets where the sleeves ripped off. It's got the the club logo on one side and then the sunflower on the other side, and that signifies that you're one of these bikers' old ladies. So she's somebody's old lady. Um, why didn't you clarify who, whose old lady she was? I don't know, because there's a bunch of bikers in here. She they could just be any one of these dudes. She <laughs> I'm everyone's so, old lady. so, like, long. Like, and she... <laughs> Go ahead. No, be honest. No, she's so funny, but, like, when she dropped down, like, she just, like, stepped down instead of, like... <clears throat> You know, like, when you're stabbed, you don't just, like, step down. Well, I mean, have you ever been stabbed like that before? I've been bit. Have you been stabbed like dog. that before? No. So how the fuck would you? Know? I, don't, I And that's the thing, though. Like, there are a lot of movies where it's like, you're not going to drop down that fast, or someone's not going to do that. So it's different. So maybe somebody when they get stabbed, I've never been stabbed like that. So maybe when somebody fucking gets stabbed like that, they're their head's swimming. No, but they like, don't know what they're doing. She's like, trying to keep her it's balance. It's too slow wait, or too fast. Wait, so but how many? Kind of them. How many times was she stabbed? Cause that really once like, she was stabbed once, once in the stomach. Okay, so I could I could. And understand. she's trying to get away. She's in shock. She's not the strongest fucking person in the world. Well, then honestly, she she should have been. If she's not the strongest person in the world, then she should have been crawling. She shouldn't have been walking. So, well, I mean, she kind of gets to the crawl eventually. I mean, like and once I, again, like Derek, she is not an actor. I mean, yeah, no, and I I. I mean, from I like could only do so much. Know. The get go, she should have been crawling like. Crawling out with one arm and one arm, you know, here on her on her, her stomach, wound, yeah. you know, and just been crawling out. You know, she shouldn't. Have but been then walking. Cheyenne would have gotten on her too quick. I needed her to come out that way, and I mean, she could. It could have, like, no offense to Gabby or anything like that, but I mean, it could have been better. But I don't think it's the worst that she. No, did. it's. Well, I mean, it's not. I'm just saying, like, she could have even like kicked her to the ground and turned her over, you know, mm-hmm. and like looked her in the face. That's pretty good. But no, but I wanted her to. I wanted the shot from up her coming behind and slitting her throat. But what you said is cool too. Mm-hmm. It just wouldn't work for the shot that I was trying to get. I mean, that's fine. You know, I just, I just. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of acting, okay, in my lifetime. All right. All like, right. I just. I Louise don't... keeps coming back to watching, or either Kelly does. What the, f- Louise? Kelly? <laughs> Who are you? Who is Com- watching right now? Comment. Comment or give me a, like a smiley face or a thumbs up. And you're gone. Winky face. Maybe it's like they just have For to For all I know, it's service. just catching me because I'm watching it. Hmm. We're nearing the end of this movie. So here. who are all these other extras? Him. I don't know him. <laughs> I don't know him either. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's various like actor sites that I know through Greg and other people. Oh, wait. Where was, where was Derek? You said they were in the movie too, right? Derek's brother? No, and... he's not in the movie. But he was there when we were catching Pokemon. Yeah. 
I was just telling you that's Derek's brother. Oh, I thought you said that and they were in the movie. And his sister-in-law. No. They were there. Yeah. Okay. I didn't introduce anybody. Oh, here's where Dakota loses his balls. He loses his balls in fucking uh, Street Meets Pavement, too. His, his balls seriously look like two cigarette butts. Well, there are cigarette butts down there. <laughs> I not, was like... Well, I mean, he gets he gets killed in a way where he cuts his balls off and shit. Or he cuts was, into his um, sack and dick. Junk. So the, the Indian kid here. Wes and, um... Martinez, like, son, whichever. Eric. I think he would have been good at Derek's part. Right, and that's what Corey said, too. That's uh, You know, when I wrote the movie, without skipping a beat, Corey's like, I kind of pictured Martinez's son. Yeah. That's that part. Um, but those people aren't actors, and they don't always have the availability. Derek yeah. was the only was gun-ho like, person gonna, I had. I'm going to get to go. And I worked yeah. the same days and the same hours as him. So I had him as much as I had Corey. Yeah. So I've got this book, and I like to end my podcast with this book. We can keep going, though. So I'll wait. I'll wait. I thought you wanted to be done by 8.30. Uh, you know. It's not 8.30. We can can start wrapping up around 8.30, and we'll make it through this movie. It's got like 15 minutes left. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions that you guys had, or what was it like working on this movie? You had a bigger role in this movie than you did in the last one. Slightly It was no, great. Fucking I enjoyed huge it comparatively. <laughs> he liked it. I enjoyed it so much. I but worked so hard see, on this movie. You didn't movie. even see what she I was, was the asshole. axe murderer, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Robert's such a fucking character. <laughs> I liked it. It was fun. I had a lot of fun. I mean, even though we only did like. What? What? what four work? or five days of filming, really? Like, I mean, we did like. Three scenes, but like over like four or five like different days. Do you remember when we tried to film <laughs> the gas station scene? <laughs> and, the, and the coke truck was filling up the bottles. No, no, before because we had to go back and do it again a different day, didn't we? No, we only did the one day. Oh uh, well, no, but I had to go back and film him because oh, the okay. motorcycle. Are you sure we had? To? I only was at the gas station one but day. But you remember? Do you have my jumper cables? <laughs> no, I don't have any jumper cables. Because the bike, the battery on the bike wasn't working. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. See, it wasn't working the day that so we had to were out there, so day, you guys right? had to go back out. I didn't go back out with you. When he drives away, I had to go and redo. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> what he was trying to do was take the, the battery out of... What is it? Did he take the battery out of my car? I think so. He took the battery out of my car, and he was going to put it in the side pouch of the bike. <laughs> and, have it hooked up to the bike's battery. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but it didn't work because it wouldn't fit into the pouch. The pouch was too small. Yeah. But it was it was real close. <laughs> Who is that? Well, originally it was supposed to be Genesis and Ashley that were supposed to come. The, the earlier two geishas. Uh-huh. But they flaked. And we were scrambling to find somebody. Hold on, Cheyenne was fucking hitting up all of her friends. So this is Cheyenne, one of Cheyenne's old buddies. She came out from like Fernley or Fallon or something to come do this scene for us. Go ahead. What was your question? I was just going to say I could have done this fight, like choreographed this fight scene so much better. Maybe um, Eric did the choreography for this. Martina's son. Was I in the mirror in that scene? I'm pretty sure I saw the script in like, um, on the hay and the. I think that's my arm, but you can't tell. It could really be anything. It could be the doorway, but that's my arm. You might see the script. Oh no, the script is definitely on the um, bedside table. <laughs> he picks up my gun. There's the script right there. Take a shot, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw the script in one of like the hay scenes, though, like in the shack somewhere. And when we were if, watching, if movie. anything, it might be up here. Yeah. But I don't remember what scene it was. I remember watching in the in the, and the last time we saw you wasn't New Year's. It was the premiere. Oh, and That's, I wasn't thinking New Year's. I was thinking our. 
one of our anniversaries in January, which yeah. would be after New Year's at GSR. But you're right, I did see you guys at the premiere. Yeah. I was going to ask you, what honestly made you think of like wearing what you're wearing right now in this scene? Or like I didn't scene? know what to wear. I didn't know what to wear um, coming up to the filming. The cats. And I was just thinking, nobody ever sees me dressed like this. So that's why I chose this. Each other. Oh, and I had to have long sleeves because these, I got these tattoos. Because these were all you, right? These are all me. That's me. That's me. That's me. I like that. Love might be that, me like, for that all you're all like different. <laughs> like, because nobody just looking at it can even really tell that those are th- that those are those the are same all, person yeah. rather than three people or uh, one person. Yeah, that's me. Me and me. Three different masks, three different guns, I think, and three different clothing. See, my question is, how how the hell did Corey take down three people? He didn't. No? He didn't. No. He gave up our location. For you? <laughs> and then he leaves her! And then he leaves me. <laughs> What a fucking... Kind of just a bag of rocks. Honest to God, babe, I'm not going to try and be mean, but what the fuck's wrong with Corey in this scene? See, there's my tattoo. We want the money. Yeah, no, uh, he gives up our location so that he can get her out of there. He doesn't take them on and kill her. And then just leaves her. I'm sorry, babe, but if I were going to leave you later on... Well, he's regretful the entire time, but he does what he... To save a life, and then he's like, you know what, you're safe, bitch. You're fine. I mean, Take some money. It could have at least been like you know, like a love interest between Corey and honest to God, you know, you, Varia, like <laughs> because he's trying so hard to save you and all this stuff. Honestly, you know, and his then head somewhere else. Apparently, so he's just gonna leave her at a gas station. That's me. The fucking coke truck, motherfucker. Yeah. Stop smoking, Corey. Jeez. He's a chain smoker. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Script. (laughs) (laughs) There it is again. Take a shot, people. You'd be fucked up. Screenshot. See, and then here's the, here's the, you guys hear the gunshots? That's fucking gunfire. Well, we better go the other direction then. I love all your band. Honestly, what made you think of the neck brace for a... a no, no, a, no. She's got a neck wound, so she's bleeding, so it's not... A, where did... Did it's Corey have those, or did you have those? No, you you guys had those. So Corey had it. It's just what Corey had. We just put a bandage on her neck and on the other cuts. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like a bandage. It looks like something... You know, <laughs> it looks semi-neck like, bracy, but it's still tiny compared to... I mean, it still, a it still makes me think of, like, what the fuck they do to you to, like, make you, like... Well, no, I mean, they did have, like... She, the, you couldn't really tell, but there was a rope around my neck, too. Oh, yeah, so she's got so, she's got a fucking noose wound as well, motherfucker. Eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a dick sponge. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, dick sponge. What? So that's the last time Maria's on screen. You're done. Yeah, okay, but he didn't even give me very much money either. He's just like, oh, here's a few bills. <laughs> he gave you what he had. He fucking threw it at you. Didn't give him Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> and then she shoots him with the gun. We now find out that that gun's actually not a toy gun, but a real gun. That she uses to fool the man. Her father. Well, it actually no, really like looked cops. like a real gun, like gunshot, too. Like, I really like that shot. It's a blank gun. So it's not like that's a special effect. That's a practical effect. But even the blood, though, like, I, it looks... It looked good. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. The, the blood well, actually is, like, good. film, start dumping it, and then just quickly get my hand out of the way or Corey's hand out of the way. What color is in that bottle? Don't ask me colors. So, t- so, as far as you know, that's a real gun. No. It's not, I know it's not a real gun. Well, I mean, as it's far as you know... It's a color gun. I know that. Okay, so you can tell that it's not silver or black. Well, you can see blues, so, like... Hues of blue is better than like. What color is his like shirt? Reds and tans and browns all blend together. Blue, pink, and purple. Are what I most colorblind with. Okay, what color is this right here? Hold on, I'm, I'm a little. You can see that these all have different colors, right? They're color coded. 
Those two really fucked me up. I don't like those two. I'm like, Connor, hook up the color correctly for me on the mics. <laughs> That's why, like, for, for cars, I could never do wiring. That's why I can't do my own wires for, like, my subwoofers or anything like that. I can't do it because I can't tell. Sure. You know? You can't tell between black and red? You can tell that, right? Cause well, because, like, lighter, there, right? there's... I mean, black and red, yeah. Because black stays black. Sure. You know? But, you know, red, honestly, it mostly turns to brown. So red and brown switch. Okay. Right? I actually just explained this to my new coworkers today. Like, I wasn't always colorblind. I was I wasn't colorblind as a child, but as I progressed oh. getting older, like I got colorblind, and I actually went to the doctor and they said, "Yeah, you're colorblind." You have like a degenerative kind of thing. I mean, I guess so. Like, I don't. <laughs> I just when I was like 13. Okay. So it was like you know. So it was eight years it, ago or seven or so nine did years you ago. you know when you were colorblind? Or it I just started, happened so gradually that it was almost like it was always that way? I started to when I wasn't, like, able to, like, see, like, you know, like, on teachers, like, boards, right? Oh, this color says this, this color says that for all the words. And I was like, I was like, I want to see two lines, and there's supposed to be three lines. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know if there's another line. You know, like, and it would be like, it'd be like mostly in math. Like, my math teacher in eighth grade, like, would, like, change colors on me a lot. And so I like I told her I'm like I like I only see two lines and she goes well that sucks and I was like no I'm dead serious I'm colorblind I can't see it like and she goes oh well it says this and so I'd have to have her read it to me while I write it down it was like the worst thing in the world she was really bitchy about it all right well we're nearing the end here any questions I love that Ashley is like the badass like she's the one that's behind everything yeah. She's like, eh, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I take his moonshine. Even though the wind blows it but way why does, the fuck so out of proportion. What, why does she get, like, the face paint mask versus everybody else just gets a regular mask? Because she's the Why is it orange caps? Like, I don't know. I mean, I've never the, really like, liked if you, orange. If you <laughs> well, orange is because that's my wife's favorite color. It's just little things that I throw in to kind of make it stand out in her mind when she's watching it. Because I don't think that she really likes my kind of movies. Oh, he, he named this character after my... <laughs> this Mark. <laughs> so that's why it's an orange hat here. Mm -hmm. um, that's why she has an orange hat. Mm -hmm. um, da -da -da -da. Everyone laughed at this for some reason at, when we, at the premiere. At I don't know premiere. why. Um, but... Like, when they're telling the stories about the guy with the skull face mask mm -hmm. and the orange hat on. Like, they're telling these stories that they've heard, and they're stories that, they're, that are real that they heard about her husband who's now dead. Mm -hmm. So she kind of took up his, like, like, he was a hitman for the club, but oh, no one knew okay. that, so she I just kind of took that. over what he did. Oh. I mean, it's... It's a movie. No, I know. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that it was her husband that did it. Well, I because when, like because when she's because she's in the bathroom putting makeup on, which I filmed that whole thing, but I was like, it'll give it away if I show it. I'd rather her just walk on and you see it. Um, but he says, like, you know, it's funny, because I heard about this guy, blah, 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 blah. It kind of reminded me of your old man, uh, Eden's, Eden's dad. And it's like... Hey, there's my name. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, Jen. <laughs> I don't even, we don't even say your name in the script, do we? I don't think so. No, it's just a quick little, like, Jen. Cat house girl. God damn it, Jen. <laughs> Fucking so, Jen. there's the movie Final Thoughts. Connor, solid. Two thumbs up, two thumbs down. It's okay. You don't I, have to love it. I, I can take criticism. I do like it. Honestly, I like it, the fact that, like... I think God's Salt is a much better movie. No offense to you. Do you? Maria, Absolutely. Well, I, I like it in the fact of, like, the whole biker aspect. I like, I like that kind of, like, thing. Even though I've never really watched, you know, like, uh, Sons, Sons of, of Anarchy. Anarchy. I've never watched it, but I like the concept. Because, you know, there are, like, a lot of, like, biker gangs or, you know, clubs that, you know, are doing illegal shit like this. And they're just, well, no one I mean, knows. I'm sure there's some that are legit and don't do things. Well, you know, you know what I mean, though. Yeah, absolutely, I mean, like, absolutely. 
they carry guns and they do kill people and they shoot people and they don't give a fuck. Right. You know? So I do like that about this. And when you read the new script, like, there's stuff in there that's, like, real. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, it's very little, though. Very little. Minuscule amount. Like, there's some flashback scenes in there that's real, and it's really about, like, my great-grandmother. And she hung out, like, her brother, so, like, my great-great-great-uncle, I guess. Um, he was with, like, the first chapter of Hell's Angels mm-hmm. in, uh, I think it was Oakland or something like that. Um, and they all hung out together, and they were all in that generation. So, like, I've got real ties. As far as I know, these are all stories that I've heard after the fact. But, I mean, it, it, it's plausible. Well, have you ever seen that movie, The The Strangers? Yes, and I hate that movie. I think it sucks. <laughs> well, all those... All the events of the, the, the director, like, has about that movie, about, you know, people, like, going into the house and everything, that actually happened in his neighborhood. There Is that were, what he said? Mm-hmm. There actually were people that went into houses and they wore masks like they did in the movie and they would just freak people out, you know? That's just what they did. And then they would, you know, rob and, you know, sometimes kill people and he wasn't... He wasn't always sure. I mean, sure. there are crazy motherfuckers all over the place. Yeah. And more... Nine times out of ten, the people who are doing that know the people. They know what they got in there. And yeah. that's why they're doing it. It's not like they're hitting up all the houses. They're probably just hitting up the people that they know who to go to. Well, because, like, he, he talks about how, like, how his neighbor's house, like, his his house got, like, hit, like, a few, like, one or two times. They never, like, did anything serious. They stole a few things, but, like, they wouldn't know when the people were inside the house. Like, they were just, it was, like, a group of actual, like, people, like, in the movie. And they never got fucked up or anything? No. Like, I fucking, I've got a bat and a sword next to my bed. No, they were so silent. <laughs> Damn sure I have two knives But underneath clearly the there's all kinds of swords yeah. right here. Someone came right, in the front the door. But, but, you know, there were actually people who went inside without being noticed and stole stuff and then got back out unnoticed. Sure, I mean, there's people that do that. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like, not in our house because we have, like, three dogs. I mean, Bex and Barks and everything. Yeah, but she's a lover, not a fighter. Final thoughts, Maria. Um, well, just compared to God's all, I think we just have a lot of newbies in this lot and I it's think not that's, so much that we have newbies you're right but it's a matter of like I have less I have less people to work with no it's it's, no, it's I'm not I'm not saying like newbies like oh it's, it sucks because they suck or you know I'm not right, saying that right. I'm just saying that no, like that's what you're saying they're not fuck no. all you newbies Derek <laughs> they're Gabby fucking Cheyenne they're, well, Wes I mean, I mean Darryl, going from like all three movies that we tried to do last summer like it just it 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 was it, like it was forced, kind of. Like this it one was, was like, absolutely forced. Yeah, this like everybody in Godzilla was like passionate, was like ready to be there, like every day. Professional to actors, do it. kind of, like they've all acted before, as yeah. far as professional goes. Yeah, that's yeah, and they like they know like they want to be taken like at the best. Right. And like you know, and I I understand because like this is like I have and they can actual take lines in this one. They know how to d- get directed <laughs> when I tell them what to do. They can do yeah. it. Yeah, so. and it's I I mean. I, I can understand that, like, you know, it's it's unfamiliar territory for a lot of people kind of being told what to do and how to say something and, and not and knowing how to, how to do it. And not knowing what to say or think or feel or do. And I, I think that's that's the only, like, thing between this and God's so That's what makes God's Salt so much more is because they've had that experience. They like, know what you're looking for or know what you're looking for a little bit better and that they were all, like, ready and like willing like we just need to get this done like we want to go through and like we're just like on it absolutely whereas this one it's like a little bit more dragged out a little bit more like we need to get people to right. do well, this well i put everything into the first script that i wanted yeah. to make yeah and then there is a little bit less and then, and then a little bit less and that's what's great about like the one that i just wrote that i want to make next year is there's a lot of passion in this one for me personal experiences which was in my first two movies three weeks payment and god salt yeah. Like, there's a lot of me that I took out and put into those. Like, Night Moves didn't have, like, like any of me in that, but it, I had the drive and the motivation to write that movie. I'm pretty sure I've seen, like, one through three of, like, six. When it was, the fuck was, was God, talking was, No, it was God's Out five or six. It was, or six or seven. Out of all my movies? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to count all of them, there was, let's see, there was, 
Because I watched the first three for sure, and I think it's four or five I haven't watched. On my YouTube channel? No, you you, you made copies for all of, like, of all of them for me. Oh, uh, well, me I think one like, yeah. would probably be Crime America. Yeah. And then there's a zombie one. No, no, no. Then there'd no, be the uh, Dread and Terror in Salt Lake City. Dread and Terror in Salt Lake City. Yeah. <laughs> um, like me and Patrick and all these. Um, and then it would be the zombie one, Patriot Zombie, or yeah. the Unmaking of American Zombie. Yeah. Um, there's probably like a short films disc. No, I don't think so. Well, maybe. I don't know. There's got to be a short I've got like disc one through six, and God Salt was seven. That sounds about right. And if five was Street Meets Pavement, or six was God Salt, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. Or there's a short films disc, and then there's like the Cheese Christmas one, the Cheese Short Films. Yeah. Um, and then it would be Street Meets Pavement. Oh no, Dutch. There's also Dutch. Dutch is in there somewhere too. Yeah. Dutch was the last one I made before moving to Colorado, and then I came back and made Street Meets Pavement, and then God Salt. Yeah, but I think I feel like progressively, like when I was watching, like, like I said, I watched at least the first three. Like after I like had seen God's All and like then you like, gave me all of them. Like I started watching all of them. Well, you get the progression and, of yeah, experience. It's, it and definitely like has like built upon each of them, and it's I feel like this one has progressed. <laughs> this one was like five back. <laughs> but it also it yeah, it, it just a little bit. And it's not, it's not if a bad, anything, it's If anything, it wasn't so much a regression as it was a lateral move rather than like a, a forward progression. Change, yeah. right. um, but <laughs> I'm just listening. But the next one. Hi, girl. <laughs> the What's next up, one will girl? definitely be oh a forward gosh. progression. Um, hopefully we get into a film festival somewhere. I'm going to be honest. Like... Just don't use the word fuck so much. Don't yeah, well, swear. This one's got a lot of fucks in it. It's like a, this movie has that's the right. least amount of fucks that I've ever put into a movie. Does it really? Because Patrick's not in it. Oh. Patrick likes like if you when you watch God Soul, Patrick says says fuck a lot. Like every. I mean, so do I. But you know. And this new one I wrote. There's a lot of fucks in it too. But I mean, that's the way people talk. That's the way I talk, and that's the way that I want them to react. So when they're saying fuck, it's not because I like the words, because I feel that that's how they feel. Oh, fuck. Pretty much. Fuck. All right. So let's wrap this up. What's that? This is, I like to end my podcast with this. I pull a page out. Yeah. Open it to a page? Yes. I pull Do it you out. really pull it out? Yeah. Oh. I don't double up on questions. Okay. Is it supposed to be pulled out? Oh, well, it pulls out easy, so. <laughs> so many fucking nothing, eventually. Okay. I don't want to know. Hold on, there's two questions. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to ask you this question. Actually, I'm going to ask both of you this question. You both have to answer. That's how I do it. Alright, so the first one is, from now on, every wedding gift that you ever buy has to be purchased at either... Hot Topic or a porn shop? Which do you choose? Yeah, babe. Which one do you choose? It's a wedding gift for somebody else. Wedding gift Where from? would you rather buy a gift for somebody else from? Hot Topic or a porn shop? A porn shop. And you know, I think porn yeah, shops I mean, are generally like, people buy gifts from there as like a jokey gift. Well, I mean, isn't like, are you trying like just like, just like media porn or like... It's Toys just and porn this shop. and whatever, as whatever well. you can buy walking into a porn shop. Toys and shit, babe. I, I mean, mean, it's whatever you choose. I mean, I would just go to bed and have to be home. No, 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 no. That's no, not no, on there. No, it's only hot topic or like, a porn are shop. Are we talking like the engagement party, like bachelor party? Wedding thing, gift. Or is it just so when you're going to wedding? the wedding, I, I mean, like, you I mean, wrap it up in I'm like a nice little I'm pretty sure hot topic does sell like. I was going to say hot topic and porn shop are like the same fucking thing. Like they're. Like, I mean, they've, they've cleaned up a little bit, but, like, they're practically, like, Have you seen that. their bathing suits? Oh, oh my it's God. It's like a porn shop for teens. Yeah. Like. It's a, it's a torno. 
Torno. Not a porno, but, but no, torno. I mean, but Tor- they, torno. Torno. They try to capitalize on too much, so I'd almost want to like go to a porn shop rather than. So you're buying topic. like a wedding gift that's got like a bunch of timber. I'm gonna go like a massive, like <laughs> massive yeah, like, right? At least wise. like I mean, like they'd be able to like get something. <laughs> no, we we need to get like a massive dildo for the wife. Just be like, this is what marriage is gonna come to. Well, they've gotta eventually. have like some his and hers kind yeah, of. Yeah, like, they've got they have, his like, dildo, her stuff. dildo. Like, I mean, I'd rather go to Spencer's than Hot Topic. They definitely have the best of both worlds. No, Spencer's definitely is full-on fucking, like, like weed. And I love wine. the people who bring their kids in there, and the kids are, like, looking around, like, all oh, the sex that are going, Oh, my God, what is this? And the mother goes, well, that's I remember, when I used a mommy to love and a daddy. Going to Spencer's See, and I used to love Hot Topic, but then they, like, the last, like, ten years or so, they've just gone, like, I don't know, we... I don't know, like, pop so culture like, Yeah. Like, just overkill Every new pop everything. culture thing yeah. that comes out next. You can yeah, like, there's, like, oh, I just, I don't know, drives me crazy. Like, they used to actually have, like, Marvel Disney stuff. clothing and, and stuff there. Like, I love, like, the trip clothing. Like, like I had some really, like, neat, like, pants and skirts and stuff, and now they just, like, I don't know. Fucking Average bad. shit. You can get a fucking old navy. <laughs> so the answer to the question is porn, porn. a porn shop. Porn right. shop. This also says just think of all the ironic T-shirts and black lipstick you can set newlyweds up with. Or you can give them lipstick that tastes good. <laughs> chapstick, <laughs> not lipstick. What? Chapstick. Dick stick. Dick stick. <laughs> <laughs> Numbing cream. All right. Um, would you rather have fuck or tickle me tattooed on your forehead? Fuck. <laughs> on my forehead? Fuck or tickle me. I, well, I mean... She can't get tickled. Don't so look she... too deep into these fucking questions, okay? Don't get all fucking serious. Have fun with it. Well, I don't know. This is not like, <laughs> fuck me or, you know, something like that. It's no, just I fuck. mean, it's like... It's like, fuck or tickle me. I just feel like if you said, like, tickle me, it'd be like, tickle me Elmo. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you think when you wait, wait, I, I got don't, this. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, like, no, I no. say fuck a lot, but I don't say tickle me. I got this. Wait. <laughs> tickle me later, <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> tickle me later, well, So, like, putting tickle me on your forehead is kind of like an invitation. Yeah, like, for, like, sexual predators. Isn't necessarily, or creepy fucking guys. I mean, they hit on her anyways. Or if you put tickle me on your forehead, do you think creepy guys would come up to Fuck you? Fuck yeah, they're gonna like chunch my fucking dick and balls and everything. I'm gonna tickle you so good, boy. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I, I definitely do fuck. I, I say fuck too. Okay. One is certainly more intimidating. The other is going to get you into much more interesting conversations at parties. Exactly. Tickle me. Let's do another one. That was fun. That's then, fine. I'm fine with doing another one. And then I'll kick you guys out of here. Let's do one close to the front. Is there a difference between the... I don't know. I've never looked at it. Really? Yeah. He's just pulling pages out of it, babe. That's all he's doing. Does right. everybody get two or are you just treating it special? We're special because we're two people. Uh, no. Generally, I mean, sometimes it's just a matter of, like, uh, if, like, this one was kind of lame. Yeah. So. It was kind of lame. You know, and these questions aren't all that terrible. It says okay. questions for terrible people, but it's not all that, that bad. Like, one I asked Corey was tame as fuck. Mm. This one's big. Someone has a gun to your head. You've got exactly one minute to think of something. A text, video, photo, anything. To post on Facebook. If your post gets fewer than 100 likes in one hour, you'll be killed. Um, The post cannot reveal the situation or directly plead for likes in any way. What do you post? Oh my god, okay. That's intense. I get like (laughs) maybe five five likes. I don't get any likes. Nobody likes my shit. Except for Mr. It depends on what I do. Like, I don't post very often, so I usually get about, like, a, a decent amount of likes. You've got one minute to think of something to post. You know what? It and you better hope to Christ that you know 100 people it would that definitely, like it. definitely I'm be like something, like, concerning, like, with, like, the girl's, like, emotion. Like, a, like a girl's emotion, definitely, you know? Have like, her be like, or it could be, like... Oh, my God, you're so sensitive! Like, uh, Or a picture... It wouldn't be a dick pic. <laughs> you put a dick pic on there. It's not that impressive. Oh, like, pe- people who wants tend me to, to flash, and then it's like you got a hundred likes. <laughs> oh, oh, for a well, hundred I mean, likes, I'll do this. No, 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 no. You can't no. ask oh, for hundred likes. You can't ask. So you you can you've got to kind of find your way around saying that. Oh, you just well, got to post a funny know, video I've, of like you doing. Because stupid. I've moved around so much, I have over like three hundred friends or so. 
like on Facebook. You don't know them. Well, like, yeah. Delete I mean, it's people. it's Facebook. I mean, it's I whatever. I people every so often. I don't often. have a thousand like some people do. Like my friggin' like sixteen year old sister has a thousand something. But like, I mean, she's like, like 18, I've, I've met every person on my <laughs> Facebook. Um. And I mean, I don't know. I feel like most of most people respond well to either like the extremes like really happy about something right. or really like like I'm getting sad. a house I yeah. know I did that like, I got a lot of breast likes. implants like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes yes that will definitely do it <laughs> that's what I needed that's what I need to post is like a picture of like someone else's boobs and just be like here you go and yeah <laughs> the well, yeah, it's like, sex yeah, sells well, and it's never changed yeah and it, it's just I, I don't know I but I'm always like like really happy but like I said I don't post very often so like when I like give like a status update of like my life I feel like I get more likes and be like Yes, absolutely. My life shit. You know, 20, so like, likes. <laughs> I mean, like if you were like super, like even if you have a gun to your head, like you're gonna be about to fucking get your brains blown out. Like I mean, if you're like, you know, oh, like this is this, this is this happening. Go like Trump. I graduated, like you know, college, and like we have puppies, and like I hate I, black blah, people, blah, blah, and people That's are right. like happy for you, and I don't know, I. Probably something along the lines of like, kind of like, oh, I'm so happy in where I'm doing. I'm doing this, 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 and that. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay. And it says here, some passion. (laughs) Passion's gonna win me my hundred likes. Hashtag breast implants. Hashtag breast implants. Oh my gosh, I they had this poster like in like the poster lots of stuff like at UNR like throughout. At Hot Topic. No, yeah. At at, where the fuck you going with this? (laughs) No, they had like a passion poster and I like loved it I didn't get it because I got another one yeah and like I I don't know had something on like in the middle of it like Like, no I mean like what is it there was a taco I I had a taco bell sauce that I like took a picture of a couple years like yeah it's like um do it do it with passion or not at all and I've like I love that because it's like passion right if you don't love what you're doing why are you doing it yeah, and people are people are happy when other people are happy, most of, like times. Unless you're like cynical and like crappy or something. Like that. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Some reliable standby possibilities include a heartfelt confession and an, an apology for a secret past transgression, an announcement that you're finally ready to come out of the closet, even if you're not currently in it, or a seventy-year-old photograph of a grandparent and a story about how awesome they were. Yeah, see, exactly. Like, like, a life. Big things. Guess who's gay? <laughs> this guy. Hashtag out of the closet. Hashtag dick sponge. Hashtag dick sponge. <laughs> All right. Would you rather go streaking on the playing field during a nationally televised sporting event or through a, a small suburban elementary school's playground during recess? Keep in mind that real world consequences apply if you are caught or identified. Stadium. I'm gonna say like, stadium. Like these are two extremes. Yeah. Like. Okay. Why would you pick? I, so honestly, with the 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 school one, if you streak in a in a little yeah, you're in gonna someone's be like school, a, a predator for yeah, the rest of your life. Yeah, you're you're, you're yeah. a predator, but if you streak on television during a, like a like a football game or like Super Bowl or something or like. Like, you just get like fined and arrested. Like, yeah, like MLB championships, right? You know, anything like that. It's like, oh my god, there's just the another streaker. Who fucking cares? <laughs> you know, no one really cares. Yeah, these, like, there, was, there are some of these where the, the, the options that they give are... Pretty like, obvious. Rather than, like, oh man, which one would I do? When th- Yeah, this is obviously you're not going to streak through a fucking elementary school's playground. Obviously I'm going to streak through a fucking, you know, televised event because you know what? Like... Like, who it, fucking cares? No, there's, because there's so be many so people much, do it. There's so like, discussion on both sides. Like, people are going to, like, well, I mean, in today's Tiny age, you wiener! Can play about anything, right? Tiny <laughs> wiener! <laughs> Hashtag no dick. It's pretty much. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> Hashtag man no dick and people balls. complain on both sides, so they could be like, oh, like, like, what, like, courage to go do it, but then, oh, like, they're streaking, oh, that's bad. So you have both sides that are going to, like, fight for you. You see, no. Whereas if you're streaking through a preschool, they're going to be like, ew, no, get that fucker out of here. You know, that past question, like, the video of, like, 100 likes, it'd be me streaking at a nationally <laughs> televised event. <laughs> a lot of it leads to the others, like, I really didn't want to post this, but you've got to get my head. head. 
This is me streaking at a you know, like Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Me getting, exactly. Me getting tackled by like Tom Brady or something. Well, not even that. Like, you see like <laughs> ten police officers like trying to chase you down, and like they like jump on you, and then you're like, <laughs> what if you're like greased up? <laughs> and then you're greased up like, death guy from fucking real? Family Guy. <laughs> 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 All right, well, that's... That was good. <laughs> fuck. God damn That was good fuck. That was not a good That was a good fuck. Exit. That's what it was. We've got an hour and a half podcast. It's pretty good. Well, thanks, guys, for coming and playing my game. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Would um, you like to play a game? That's coming out. A new one. Are Jigsaw. you fucking kidding me? Jigsaw. Yeah, Jigsaw. What? You didn't see that trailer? Fuck. I think I might have, but I forgot about it till Jigsaw. just now. Jigsaw. So they just, they just need to stop. Just, just they did stop. stop. They stopped for like 10 years. Yeah, but why? He's why? back. Why? This time it's personal. <laughs> this time. Like with Jaws. Freddy Krueger and Jason and Jaws stop and everything else it. is fucking right. Stop it. <laughs> I'm waiting for the, the creature from the Black Lagoon to make like a reappearance in this fucking shit. Well, he is. The, the, the Dark Universe. Yeah. But the mummy didn't make any money. It wasn't very good. Oh, so we the mummy. I'm really sad. Oh, just it's not the mummy. It's something completely different. It's something shit. It's different. You didn't like it. We well, haven't seen it. We haven't seen it. I but liked it's, it. It's it's. Uh, it didn't get very good reviews and didn't make much money, but I liked it. I just it's it's not I'm because it's not Brendan it's, Fraser. Well, it's not the same form. They put the book in the movie. Really? I'm, I'm so tired of seeing, like, Tom Cruise and shit, honestly. I want to watch it. I was happy to see Tom Cruise in a horror movie, because he's not in any horror movies. The, the only, like, recent movie that I've liked, I've liked Tom Cruise in was that, I don't remember what it was called, uh, Oblivion. Remember that one? Yeah, I just watched it. Yeah, that was, like, probably one of the greatest movies I've ever liked Tom Cruise in. Uh, I really liked that uh, movie. Clearly you didn't see Ghost Protocol. <laughs> Clearly, you didn't see uh-huh. The Outsiders. I have seen The Outsiders. Okay, well, he's in that movie. I know he is. He sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you didn't see Eyes Wide Shut. Tom Cruise isn't my favorite. <laughs> I thought. I thought. I liked it. That's mm-hmm. my two cents. That's Wait. Matt's two cents for the week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. I'm Matt Bonto. Very Evans. Connor's day. See you later. Bye.